Hello and uh, welcome to Blundells vs Taunton. Here we are. And uh, sorry, the stream started a bit late because, well, it happens. But, um, I'm Dom and uh, it's 5 3 so far. You're joining us, it's 5 3 to Blundells. One try. Who scored the try, boys? Rocky. Rocky Prowse with the try and uh, well, Taunton have got a penalty. Um, coming off uh, Blundells vs Taunton so far this year. Blundell's uh, opened the season, Taunton 2, um, but Blundell's won, what, 36 to... 36 5, I think. 36-5. And now they're playing again, but this time in the Cup, so there's a bit more on the line here. Well, it wasn't Rocky, <laughs> we're hearing. There you go, Taunton on the ball now. Brought down by Jack Clover. We'll just run through the team sheets here. Blundells, Jamie Stewart at one. Henry Han. Henry Han? Harry Han. Harry Han at two. You read it out, Pogas, you know he's better than that. At number three, Jake Powers. At four, Barley Hole. Five, Jolly O'Brien. Six, you got Harry Southgate. Seven, Archie Joyner. Eight, Archie Guyu. Sorry about pronunciation. <laughs> Nine, Alistair Metzen. Ten, Lucas Yap. Eleven, Archie or whatever. Twelve, Will Maunder. Thirteen, Jack Clover. Fourteen, Seb Linnett. And fifteen, Rocky Prowse. And on the bench, Henry Goodwin, Elliot Fenton. Oh, wow. Prowse has done well there. Somehow, somehow he's managed to gain about ten yards there from what looked like a pretty bleak position. Here he goes, that Archie Joyner, not yeah, running it forward in the blue scrum oh, hat. Pass to Lucas Yap, a nice kick, just over the over the shoulder of a Taunton player. He's had to fetch it. He's running it back quite quickly, then. Bit flustered, but here we go. A brilliant kick by Lucas Yap, finding touch there. Um, probably about five yards out. Yeah, deep in the 22. And this is a good position. What, what's been going on so far, Puggers? Uh, so, Taunton open the scoring with a shot of goal. Pretty much in the first minute from an off-feet penalty for Blundells. But we bounced back very quickly and scored in the corner, it looked like. Couldn't, couldn't really see from where I was. And, what, uh, and where would you say, who would you say looks strongest so far? I think it looks pretty evenly matched at the moment. Bar a few just poor execution from either sides. I'm sure the game will really get going shortly. Taunton a physical team. Bit of panic, but they're moving it. Oh, knocked on, says the referee. I'll be Blunder's ball. A little, um, we'll run through the Taunton lineup here. Number one, Jack Butler. Number two, Lewis Frost. Fraser Kent at three. Edward Hudson, four. Teddo. Wolf, Chark, Chark at Skiville at five, Fergus Raymond at six, Fred Laint seven, Jack Burnett eight, nine Nicholas Viljuan, ten Jack Dunn, eleven Roman. Oh my days, Taunton School! What are these names, man? <laughs> Roman Leckel Crook, James Pittman at twelve, Jack Cox thirteen. 14, Joe Clifton Griffith. 15, Oliver Mellonchip. 15, Bradley Tyler. Yeah, and that's the starting lineup for you. A physical squad I've heard so far. Obviously, Blunders winning that first matchup. But here we go. Discipline for back 10, isn't it? Yes. And now we'll get on to commentating the game now that we've got all of that over. Beautiful touch by Taunton at around the halfway line. Left from watching. And uh, new signings this year. Number three, was it number three? Jake Powers. Jake Powers, Good finally someone player. for um, Jamie Stewart to play on the seesaw with. <laughs> Another big lad, and it's an intimidating front line. Isn't yeah, it, with Harry Hand coming in as well. Some seriously strong players. Good 
Probably a bit more. Would you say a stronger pack than last year? Probably. The blunders. Oh. Probably just about, especially up front. Jamie in his second year is a serious force to contend with. And we know he's he's doing well at Scotland, isn't he? Yeah, playing Scotland Academy stuff, I believe, and Chiefs as well. And we have got Jonah Thomas here in the booth. Mm. Yeah. Jonah, what what happened? You were meant what to be playing this year. Ah, uh, it's previously second to last game of the cricket season, and uh, managed to get a stress fracture. Oh, flipping it. Uh, but, so I haven't played a game yet, but hopefully going to be getting back to it soon. This season. What's the estimated yeah, yeah. time for return? Blunders are up for it. You can see they're like piranhas around. Some oh, stray wow. meat in the pond. And they're, they're ravenous. Here they go. Bundles. Bundles ball through the hands. Lucas Yap to Jamie Stewart. And when he builds up ahead of steam, he's unstoppable. And here we go. Inside ball. Oh, spilled forward, unfortunately. Arter. On number eight by Arter. Back for the penalty. Okay. We'll take that, we'll take that. Just an inside ball to Otto, spill forward. Um, it will be Blunder's ball in the end for a back foot penalty. Will he ever shot a goal from here? Or does he stick it in the corner? Ah, it's a high tackle. Oh. I think he's going to go for the corner. Stick it in the corner. That's what we want to see. Good intention by Blunder's. Perhaps a bit, a bit too much there. on it. No. Ah. Oh, he's found the corner. The flag went on by the touch judge, but I don't think Ed knows. Touch judge, who who, uh, who is a blunder student? It looks like Ed I don't think Ed, Ed knows what he's doing there. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that's gone bad. So yeah. it'll be a dropper. Yeah. Fair enough. More he can chew there. I'm optimistic. Yeah. But Lucas Jap is someone that you always yeah. a good guy to have. Uh, I'm sure he'll bounce back from that. What is it? He's what England? England kick? England kicking school? School of kicking, is it? Oh, okay. Some oh. kicking thing. It's a good effort for charge down. <laughs> In the twenty-two, so that's not going to count. Penalty to twenty. What happened there? What was that? I what? think Powers went to charge it down, but was it in the twenty-two? So. Yeah. Taunting kick for touch. And fine to touch at about the halfway line, so they'll run it up from here. Pretty, uh, uh I'd say a bit of a scrappy game so far. Um, both teams kind of giving it, giving it away to unforced errors, a few penalties here and there. We haven't really, game hasn't really found a, a point where it can flow smoothly yet. I think both teams are still feeding each other out, but um. Yeah, both look quite staunch in defence and both teams certainly seem up for it. There's, there's a lot of proactivity around the scrums, around no, I mean the rocks, pardon me. Referee just having a chat to Lucas Yap. What's that about? Maybe a few words being exchanged on the pitch. Blunder was going to a huddle. They're going to use this time to make some plans. It might be a discipline chat, I reckon. Taunton, Jack Dunn at 10. Not to be confused with the um, 17th century poet. <laughs> John Dunn, also known as Jack Dunn in his promiscuous youth. There you go, Taunton line out. Finds number eight. Onto the foot. Onto the foot of the scrum half. But it just bounces up into his hands, fortunately. Taunton drive it forward now. Box kick inbound, here we go. Up it goes, down it comes. Rocky Prowse underneath it, you can tell by that scrum hat. Probably a bit too much on that if we wanted to compete. Oh, Rocky Prowse, he's rear, he just makes ground, doesn't he? What an offload as well. He's a dung beater, he makes use of what he has and rolls with it. Go 
Will Maunder, Will Maunder. Jack Clover takes it in. This is good by Blundells. Nice, they're looking good through the hands. Oh, good tackle by Taunton driving. Who was that that got driven back? Well, when Jamie Stewart gets the ball, you can really see this kind of old, you know, a bit of panic nice. from the Taunton as they set four men on him. And it still takes him a couple of seconds to, to stop him in his tracks. He's, there's a lot of weight to him. A lot of weight and a lot of power. Rocky Prowse takes on the scrum half duties there. A brave catch. Yap to Maunder. Maunder cuts in. Makes a bit of ground, goes down. Blunders ruck over. Here we go. Go Blunders go blindside. Who's that? Number eight. Who's number eight? Arthur. A powerful run. Powerful run, spilt it out the front. So that will be a taunting ball. Was it a knock on? I can't see from here. Knock on from Arte. It's a powerful run. Quite a lot of momentum there for Blundells. It's certainly something that um, where you can see it building. Now we get to see this uh, powerful Blundells front row in action. Taunton are doing well though. Every time it seems that the Blunders are picking up a bit of momentum, they they, man they have managed to stop them in their tracks. Whether it be a knock on or provoking some ill discipline. in. Taunton from their own 22. They'll pass it out. Here we go through the hands. Nearly finds a gap. Oh, he has done well. Oh, spill forward. Flunders will gather. Taunton rock over there. Jack is holding on on the ground there, but it will be brought back for a knock on from Taunton Bull. That'll be a Blundell scrub. As the Metzen takes the ball. Seems as though he wants to go quick. I think this Blundell's, this Blundell's pack, yeah, they'll be keen to Show a bit of fee fi fo fum here. It's a good turnout today, actually. This year, um, it was works because uh, the time has been moved back, so a lot more people can attend, which is a really good thing, actually. Yeah, it's much better after training, so all the other years are out. A nice atmosphere. There's a, that camera stand over there. It's brilliant. Yeah, the footage from there is really good. It's better mm. than here. Mm. It it's a bit easier to trace, isn't it? You always, <laughs> you have to... Very strange. Still, the game struggles to find momentum. That's another another scrum. Scrum taunting ball. What? What? There was a knock on by them. Oh no, there was a free kick. I don't know what it was in the scrum. Strong oh, a powerful run. A powerful run from the taunting eight. Taunting eight. Who's that? Jack Burnett at eight. A powerful, powerful run. Knocking down a couple of Blundellians. Here we go. Looks like a bit of an overlap on the left. Will Taunton exploit this? If they can move through the hands quickly. Going. Here's that Seb Linnett. Seb Linnett manages to hold on. Slowed him down at least. Brought down eventually. Brought down eventually, I think, by Clover. Loose ball. Taunton regain it though. Here you go. Goose step from the man in the scrum hat. Big oh, boy. Great effort at the offload, but it doesn't go to hand. Oh, Lucas Yap yeah, getting involved. <laughs> It's a two on two in the blind side. It looks like, oh, box kick. It'll go up. Rocky Prowse again underneath it. One that will be competed for. Brave catch. Great Offloaded. Oh, who's that? Arthur? No, Barney Hull. Barney Hull. Oh, he boshed it. Good strong carry by Joyner again. 
It's good. Blondel's driving forward now. They're winning these battles. Can they go wide here? Exploit the space. Oh, Rocky Brown's taking it at pace. Offload. Oh, Jack Clover now flying. moving forward. Bit high. What the? It's just a doggy pile over there. Bodies everywhere. It's off his feet, I think. I might have been pounding his Bodies on peel, and the ref says uh, that'll be a blunder's book. Will they get, they'll probably kick for touch here, I'll see. Yeah. Huh, huh, huh. Right, here we go. It does seem though, Poggins, when Blundells get the ball, it look, it's dangerous. Yeah. They're looking very good on the front foot. Um, and Morgan. physical in defence as well, actually. Yeah. Yeah, Will Maunder, he, um, he's quite sharp there, isn't he? He gets that ball and he'll just... Uh, just an aggressive first step. Picks the as well. Well, yeah, he just slams that foot down and it just, seems, it just cuts in. And, and uh, well, obviously it's, it just tricks people. Here we go, Joyner throws it in. Gathered by Southgate. Just passed out by Metzen, here we go. Through the hands. Clover on the ball. Prowse. Good tackle. Prowse flies about a metre four before hitting the ground to yap again. Who's it? A couple have come off the bench. Come off the bench, but who's... I can see Moran's come on, as well as Banton, I think. Metzen well, spills it. Oh, it's... What would this be? I'm not sure who's come off at the moment. Whose ball is that? Taunton scrub. Alistair Metzen just losing his... Losing his handy as he passes out from that scrum. But a rough pardon. What a humid day, actually. A humid day to be playing rugby. Yeah, training at South London is hot. Very so sweaty weather. Well Something to bear in mind when there's a slip tackle in the wind. Oh, here we go. Taunton coming at pace down the oh, outside. It's a forward pass. Ah! There's always something that interrupts the slick play from both sides. Right? Yeah, it looked like a bit of momentum was building. Um, bit of an overlap. Taunton, the Taunton winger did manage to break the tackle, however, it was a forward pass. So, well. Blundell scrub about on the 22. Oh yeah, yeah. Harrison Blake Peed now, uh, assuming this scrum half position. Taunton have won the scrum. On the switch, Southgate good is on for um, Barnaby Hull. That's Johnny O'Brien. Johnny O'Brien's off. Wait, what? Uh, the lap. Johnny's off now. Johnny and Barnaby oh, yeah. off, and good is so have Henry. And Rocky Prowse, mate. Oh, no, who's that at 11? Orm Everett. Orm Everett making a break at 11. Oh, flipping egg. The game pauses again. Penalty? What was that for? A Taunton penalty. Oh, we can't see it from here, but well, Taunton will go for for touch. Uh, it's just a bit, um, a bit tentative here. A bit scrappy, neither team can really seem to um, build up ahead of steam. Yeah, no one's really getting a foothold in this game. Yeah, slightly frustri frustrating to watch. Frustrating. Taunton with the possession again. Taunton. A little kick, dink really. again to Rocky Prowse, who will gather. Who runs it back. Elusive as that, who gains about five yards through traffic. Oh, 
Pass out by Blake P. Jamie Stewart, not the man they want to see running quickly. There he goes, moves forward. Prowse, Prowse to Clover. Clover out to the wing. Who's that? Hector Banton. Hector Banton going quickly. Hector Banton going very quick. Oh! Hector Banton cannot get the final pass there. Promising stuff, but once again, Blunder was just lacking that final, final, final product. Hector Banton moving very quick, leaving a, leaving a trail of burnt grass in his wake. However, could not get off that final pass to, to Harrison Blake Peed, I believe, was on the inside there. Yeah, so far... Since um since that first five minutes, the try line's seeing about as much action as a, a hairdresser in the sixties, I'd say. Your hairdresser. Or is yeah, it was my hairdresser. That will be Taunton Scrum for um I think a, n a knock on after the bounce. And it's moments like that can uh, that can really decide a game, and especially and and the. Uh, significance of these moments are amplified by the fact that we are in a cup game and blunders are up at the moment however well this can change can't it there's only a two two point gap oh good tackle good a uh, good uh, matchup actually Do not want strong run inside ball in there. it's a good kick great oh great take. gather by Hector Bandy make you up for his missed pass it's a great grab sliding underneath it and just Scooping it. It's on to go wide here for Bundles. Powerful, powerful running from... from uh, Jake Powers. Jake Powers. Powerful from Powers. Oh, it's stripped again in the tackle. Another knock on by Bundles. Taunton. Taunton making the most of every opportunity they get here. Get, getting about 10, 10 yards. Still, about, still Taunton advantage. Sorry, I was speaking like an auctioneer. Um, Lucas Yap yeah, underneath it, a good length, just out of reach of the Taunton yeah, player. And another a great offload to Banton. Here you go, Hector Banton with a one-on-one -on -one matchup, cuts inside, breaks the tackle. Oh, Game will stop again. Is that Yap? Yeah. Yes. Game will stop for Lucas Yap, who is down on the floor there. That's not good. <laughs> well, this isn't good. Lucas Yap seems a bit un unsteady. Um, I didn't see what happened there. Perhaps a late hit. See? I see the medic here. I want to pop on the YouTube link. Repair a little bit. Scrum hats off, um, and Lucas Yao will go off the pitch. So, well, what? Oh no, no, just stay on. Oh, good news, brilliant. Quick head injury assessment, and George all clear. So, resume with the. Yeah, we'll just check that out. What was that? It's gonna be a bundle of scrum. Who was in possession there? Do we still have it? We should do. But, uh, I don't know. Anyway, scrum down, blundle spool. Have some Blake P to pop it in. Will Maunder. Will Maunder on the, on the inside, on the outside. Is, oh, here we go. Pass to Maunder. Maunder dummy, oh, great to tackle. Oh, just clip, just catching his shoelace with his, loose. With his longest Flips finger well there. Hey, to Banton it. passes it on. Who's that? Oh, remember it on the wing. A little ball of muscle sending the Taunton winger. Here we go, number eight, carries it forward, R2. Lucas Yap will take it. Passes inside, Harry Southgate, shimmy to his left. Again. It's a legal clear out by James. I oh, don't. No. no, it's a penalty to Blundell's. Blundell's penalty there. I don't know if they will. Um... Must have been an offside or something. I don't see what it was. 
Momentum seemed to be going in Blunder's direction, but just need to finish one of those. That's take touch. Off. Lucas Yap going off, it looks like. So what will happen here then? You reckon Will Maunder will take 10? Tarrant might go 10, I don't know. Unless he goes wide. Let's have a look. Maunder at 10 at the moment. Yeah. I hope I'm just here to enjoy the moment here. Yeah. Gathered by Gooders. Blunders will try and just plough forward here. Ball's worked back. Now yeah, the drive's on. Rumbling on the Here we go, here we go. Chugga, 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 chugga. Here Blunders go. What about on the five line, the five yard line now? Will Maunder wants it. Comes Will Maunder wants it. It's a bad pass. Oh, it's a bit it's high. Well gathered. A good offload. Taunton trying to hold him up. He's down though. Little hand in there, a bit of cheeky business. Rocky Prowse stopping and starting. Goes down. Blundell's ruck over. Archie Joyner there. Jack Clover running it in. Breaks oh, the tackle. Jack Clover is in. Try time. Blundell's his second try. Jack Clover throwing the dummy, dropping the shoulder and just scooping inside. And there he goes into the try area. And that is 10-3 uh, to Blundell's with a conversion yet to be taken. And that, that is a, well, I'd say a long time coming, actually. Yeah, you've got to say it was coming. The pressure yeah. was building. They've been in that half for a long time without just, any response. Just direct line from Jack Clover there. Yeah, powerful running. Straight, straight and aggressive. And uh, pretty no-nonsense stuff. And you, you, you can't help but think that when these, uh, when these two back lines come up against each other, um, well, yeah, you have to put your money on the blunder floor. Blake Peed's taking conversion with Yap going off. Oh, That's some Blake Peed with a strange effort. It's got to have for a throw. How's some Blake Peed just not really killing the ball, just giving it the light concussion, really? <laughs> <laughs> just caressing it into touch. Bottom bins. Lovely on drive. Oh well, maybe a psychological statement. Now he's under this, but he wants to make some, make up for it. Here we go. Powerful run from Artur, and we see this again and again. He's a, he's a Catalonian bull. Here we go. Will Maunder inside bull. That's good. Henry Gooders. Oh, shot backwards and it's out. Maunder has it again. Move to Clover. Clover. Shovels it out. Hector Banton, here we go. We know he moves quickly. Ah, spill forward into touch. That will be a taunting ball there on the outside. Promising again. Blunders look quick through the hands. Um, it's just about really building on, creating a, a bit of momentum and then keeping it so he can build upon it. Now Taunton will go back the way they came. Through the hands. Ooh, a strong tackle picking him up and bringing him down calmly. Or Harry Southgate. Um... I think he's reached too far. His hands have gone on the floor there. So just to be off his feet before he got a clean hand on the ball. Well, they tap a go. Unusual. Ooh. Oh, that's not good. Rocky Prowse tr going for the interception. Could it's hit his forearm. Um, no, he'll get away with it. Yeah. No, just a penalty. It wasn't it? Well, there was intent for an interception. No malice involved. Yeah. So Taunton will go for touch here again, it looks like, unless they dummy it again. Finds touch.
Clarkson done? Uh, he's straining out the strain to his groin area. Yeah. So he's trained off, today. off for a moment, but he's trained today and he's feeling good, so he's hopefully be back for games. Line out again for what seems like the umpteenth time today. Slightly low pass to number 10, but he's done well. Taunton moving it nicely through the hands here. They'll go out wide. Oh. High pass and just not been, he's not been able to been pick that up. Story of the game so far. A really nice looking play. Finish Jamie the Stewart, here we go. A little sidestep, just showing him. Um, Challenging public uh, perception that he is he is more nimble than a snooker table. Here we go. Rocky Browse assuming the scrum half roll to Harry Southgate. Dummies inside ball. Stops in his tracks. The ref will stop it there. Um, will Maunders on the ground there. It seems he's getting up. Seems all right. Just a bump. Rocky Prowse's authoritative kick into touch. Oh, good take down there by James Hudson. Bubbles will attack again from set play. As we as we near in this half time mark, what do you think the, the coaches will be telling their players, Puggers? Um, despite a few positives, I'm sure it won't be a, uh, I know it'd be a nice team talk to be a part of. There's, been, there's going to be a lot of work on in the second half. I don't Just know. Execution, it's a, I think. Let the sides down. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of opportunities emerging, which is good. Like, chances are being yeah, created. It's definitely true. Just, Just that bit, final bit of composure, isn't it? Yeah. Well, there we go. Half time. 10-3. To Blundells, Did, we didn't. No, no, we didn't get that conversion. No, we didn't get no, any we did conversion. Not. Two tries. No, I'm not sure if it even reached the try line. I have to say though, Yappies was a lot closer than Harris. <laughs> <laughs> right, ten three going to half time. Um, yeah, well, we'll see you after the break in about ten minutes.
Christ. Here we go, second half underway. Taunting, catching, kicking straight back. Rocky Fraz once again. That's his fifth catch of the game, I'd say. Cutting him, one man. Speeding, speeding, speeding. Oh, he's slippery. Oh. Brought down. Brought down, finally brought down. That, that kick did not go to plan. So we'll get this half time off the. I'll click it here. Oh. Ah, Taunton, they've done well, they've won the ball back. A great surging run though by Rocky. Taunton trying to find touch. Do. So here we go. Well, it was an exciting start to the half. Rocky Prowse breaking about 18 tackles. Um, for finally being brought down at about just probably about 10 yards off the, um, the try line there. The Taunton have got it back and pretty much back to where we started at the halfway line. <laughs> An authoritative hit by Jamie Stewart. Um, Ref was not a fan, I don't think. The player's still down. It's about 400 kgs going into your rib cage. That's probably not fun. 120 to be precise. 120 kgs. Moving quick. And that's what you do to a 10. <laughs> <laughs> Scrum down. Scrum down, torn to boot. Not for the tackle. Um, what is this for? I think they were talking to um, someone on the sideline, I think. The ref was getting angry at someone on the sideline. What? What, well, scrum for the, something on the sideline? Huh. Scrum collapsed. Um, don't know what that means. Still not finding too much momentum coming off this second half. Um, hopefully this changes though. There's scoring and there's certainly potential for a game to be had, but uh, just that final product, maybe it's a scarcity that makes it, makes it uh, just puts that much more pressure when an opportunity does come. And that's why a few mistakes are being made at those crucial moments. However, uh, Taunton on the ball now, this, this way and that way, just eventually just picks up and um, Blunt will show, him, will show him the only way, backwards. Here we go, through the hands, Taunton. Hop, step and run. Just blunders, a great wall of blunders. Red and white, you just can't really get past it. Pretty unflinching there. Um, yeah, Taunton may as well have been running into just a damn wall. Here we go, 10-3. Taunton looking to get an early score in this half. And then there's a real game in our hands, especially if they can convert. It's 10-10. Harrison Blake Peed nipping around. Through the hands. Harry Southgate inside ball to Jack Clover. Jack Clover breaks one tackle, breaks two, moves forward. Good run, good run. Blake Peed outside. Rocky Prowse missed pass, bounces once, gathered, gone backwards. That'll do. Blunders clear out, line up to go again. Forwards want it. Jamie Stewart wants it. Oh, good clear out by the Taunton man. Jamie Stewart still wants it. And instead, Lucas Yap 
takes it and does his best Jamie Stewart impression. Oh, Arter. Oh, it wasn't. It was. That was Yaffy. Oh, it's Ethan. Yaffy's off. Oh, is he? Oh, Ethan Moran. So many different scrum caps. All different colours. I know, they're all pretty Arters. similar. Yaffy, um, Ethan's and... Arters. Fren Arters, Frenchies are all pretty similar. Frenchies not got his uh, three strikes from this year, though. No. Different you and Fran. Oh, pressure on, slung out. Oh, good run, good run by the Taunton 8. That's it. He's had a few of them. Yeah, a few of them. Bit of momentum. There you go, Taunton just cutting in there. There's a bit of an overlap on the right. Maybe better option would have been to pass out. Here they go, though. Here they go. Good tackle, <laughs> great tackle by Arta. Flying in, a bit late. It's big tackles. Oh, miss pass is just just popped off the thumb of the Taunton. I think the twelve there, but it's gone backwards. They keep going. Number three drives it forward. Great tackle. Double teamed. Double team driven back. Blundells. Blundells have taken the ball. Here we go. Artur driving it forward, looking for support in that ruck. Finds it. Harry Southgate to kick. Bit of backspin on it. Gathered by the Taunton 11. Oh, good tackle by Jack Clover. Just almost just purely with his nose. Here you go, moved out, moved out. Number three gets low. Strong, strong, strong run, strong tackle. Good contest. Oh, oh, the ball's flop. Oh, Taunton 12. What's he, how's he done that? Kick forward. Unfortunate bounce, it must, it must have hit a blundle shin or something, but well, it's done very well. It's just uh, passed through about three or three people thought it was for them and it just bounced up and found the fourth and he and he just took it and ran. Rocky Prowse finds touch at about the halfway line. Bit of a statement kick. Here you go, Southgate at the at the ten roll now. It looks like Southgate at the ten roll. Will Maunders off the pitch. He was very good in that first half. Yes. Jamie Stewart. Oh, he's running sideways and he's found a Stewart. Number eight, surging forward again. He's proven to be quite troublesome for the Blunders defence. To the three, to the five. Cannot get that final pass in. A great tackle by Blunders, just trapping his arms to, before he can get the pass away. Spilling forward and it's resulted in a turnaway. Jamie Stewart just turning him into flat Stanley. Oh, Taunton have won it back. It's spilt forward, I think, on the ground there. Just, it's just to and fro here. Not the ball's not really going too far, but there's a lot going on around it. Taunton just scrabbling along the ground to pick it up. Gain of one yard. It's got to be depleting their stamina. It's tiring work. Taunton now opting to go through the hands. Ten dummies. It cuts back in. Cuts back in, finds a six, forward pass. Forward pass. Gone for the offload, Brilliant. strange option, strange option to cut inside. From this angle at least. Arto got up on the outside there, there was no other score on the inside, so Ted managed to cut back in. The ball may have not moved there, but I think those, those kind of phases, um, there's quite a lot of psychological warfare that goes on. Um, there's a lot of shoulders exchanged and physical battles. Um, 
So yeah, there'll be a few psychological wins and losses, although the ball may have not gone too far. Here we go, Harry Southgate on the ball, shifts it out, Rocky Prowse. Rocky Prowse kicks it forward, a large kick, and it's gone over them. That is, good that is uh, good kick chase. potentially a 50-22. Is it? I don't know if it reached the sideline, but that was 50-22. Well, if not, the Taunton player has been tackled into touch, so it's Blunder's ball anyway. A great kick by Rocky Prowse. Great decision making, seeing that they had no no one back there, and just just like a like a bullet from a gun. Actually, he hardly even moved, and it was and it was up and away. So here we go. Blunders will be hoping to. Um, to put more than a try and a conversion between between them and Taunton, and this is probably the, the, be, the best chance of a half. Ethan. Ethan Moran gathers the throw. Blunder was trying to drive it forward, mall style, and they will, and they will. Here we go, chugger, chugger. Blunder's imposing. Taunton, no, they've done well. They've dug their heels in. Blunder's not moving here. They might have to go down. They might have to go down. And Rocky Prowse is there. Who's it? Who's it? Th who's number thirteen? Jack Clover. He'll he'll take this. Oh no, Blundells. Here we go. They're in. Try, yeah. try time, try time. Well, there we go. That is our Blundells pack operating in on mass with a lot of weight. It's good patience there to hold it in. Slowly yeah. Move it forward. Regroup. Go again. Yeah, that's really good work, actually. Um, sticking to their guns, not just shifting out, really backing themselves just to keep on ploughing. And uh, well, it's paid off with five points minimum. I don't know if Harrison Blake P will be trusted with this kick. Um, looks like Harry Southgate will take it. Uh, Harvey Tarrant. Harvey Tarrant. Harvey Tarrant <laughs> spends an awful lot of time kicking. So, um, a good man for the role. Yeah, let's see if we see if it pays off. Clean strike. That's and that is oh, like a dart. Centre. He's done really well there. It's a great kick. Taunton kick off quickly. Archie Joyner under it. Just scrapping forward. Here we go. Rocky Prowse kicks it again. Here we go. Taunton underneath it. Number 13, it looks like. I can't see it from here. Blundell's trying to trying to gather this. Will this be Blundell's ball? Holding on, Blundell's penalty. Yeah, it's great work defensively. Great work. It seems more and more the momentum switch. Uh, um, uh, what's the word? Going Blundell's his way. I really feel this is the tipping point of the game here. If Blundells can press on, hopefully put a few points past them. Yeah. It doesn't look like they're tiring. Now's the time to strike. Well, well. Yeah, that yeah, is true. All of that is a, it was a physical, few, uh, physical phase of play back then. It would have taken a bit of, uh, taking a bit of life out of both the teams, but obviously five points is rejuvenating. And Taunton have not been able to enjoy that nectar. Jamie Stewart. Jamie Stewart just willing his way forward. No. Taunton Bull. Not straight. Throw not straight.
Well, Taunton will take it again. That one didn't go to. I didn't run smoothly. Oh, a strong run, a strong run, a strong run from the Taunton 13, kicks it forward. Ah, oh, is it, will it bounce for him? No, it won't, but he brings it, he brings him down, a brilliant gain of ground at least, at the very least. A powerful run, a great line. Blunders bull, Blunders will. Who wants it? Artur wants it. Pick and go. Five yards gained. Spilt. Spilt backwards, then spilt forward. That will be torn to ball in a dangerous space. Don't want to play too much in our room. There we are. There we are. Should I put this here? Scrum down, Taunton Bull in a dangerous, dangerous space. A great run by the, I think it was the 13. I still can't see what number he's wearing his back. But. Number 13, Jack Cox. And now here comes Jack Burnett. Strong, strong run and that will result, Taunton try. Taunton try and that's well deserved actually. Well deserved. Jack, Jack Burnett, he's been trouble all day long. Strong running, strong and direct. And um, well, now he reaps the benefits. Taunton reaped the benefits number of his labour. Number eight. Yeah, that's a number London's eight. Breaking solid. tackles yeah. left, right, and centre. Yeah, London's fine. He should have been more aware of that one. Yeah, perhaps a, a few holes emerging in this Blunders team. They, they, they can't become too relaxed here. They've. Uh, well, it's important to remember, without the, the previous try, this game would be even. So, um, it is very close. There's a lot of time left in this game. And one more try and Taunton are back in, if they can convert. Number eight, the try scorer, will line up to take this kick. Steps forward. Good strike. Through. 17-10, Taunton clawing their way back. And this, there's a real game here. There's a game to be had. Blunders, they can't lose concentration. Um, momentum was all in their direction. And what are just a few, a few great runs, a few great, you know, one-man shows. And, and uh, Taunton have found their way in the Blunders area. How the game can change. Here we go. This will be a uh, kick-off. High and deep left. Lots of air time. Number 17 gathers. Caught. Rocky Prowse underneath it. He'll eat that run up like a hungry trout. Here we go. Through he runs. Evasive as always. Good gain of ground. Archie Joyner takes it, passes it on, shovels it. Powers, Powers, good run, great run. Harry Southgate through to Stewart. Jamie Stewart drops the shoulder and moves. This is good. Blunders Pack showing why they're here. Arthur just willing his way through. Seeing a lot of heart out there from Arthur. Blunders penalty, they might go for post here. Looks more like they're gonna tap and go. Um quick discussion. Kick for post. Yeah, that's like it. 
Scrum no, they will go for the points. And I think that's a wise decision, actually. Because then now they put two scores between the teams, if you can convert. And you would think you would. You'd hope all the TikTok. You would hope. All that practice, all that kicking. This is what it comes down to. No pressure, Harvey. If anyone's interested, you get to visit the uh, Insta. And TikTok. Harvey Tell you kicking. There we are, straight as you like. Straight as an arrow, once again. Harvey Town sniping it. Another three for Blunders, that's 2010 now. And um, well, that's a good sign, really, if, you, if uh, you're a Blunders fan. It always is, isn't it? Points. <laughs> Putting two scores between the teams is pretty important. So it can all change very quickly. Quantum bit on the ball. Not forward. Not forward. What, whose ball is this now? Blunder's scrum. Take that. No, Blunder's penalty. What? <coughs> oh. Scrum on the halfway line. Oh, I didn't see that. I didn't time the other one because nobody was in here, so I quickly ran in. It had been like a few minutes, so I didn't want to be a uh, minute now. So this is just the second half. So we're going. Play P to Southgate. Southgate runs, shifts it on. Prousey, he's going at pace. Steps. Prousey breaks the tackle and he's through. Oh, and he's gone. 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 Flings the ball out. That's a try. That's a try. Yeah, this is good. That is very good by Blunders. Really quick through the hands. Really quick paying, through paying, the hands. Paying his respects to no offence in there on the sideline. Yeah, <laughs> the previous winger. One, top, top one try scorer to another. Yeah, that was really good from Blunders. It was really nice. Just shifting it through the hands until they find it, found a gap on a powerful line by Rocky Prowse and, and managing to break a tackle. A last ditch effort from 13, just grabbing a bit of shirt, but yeah, to no avail. Rocky Prowse, he's slippery like a snake, and you ha can't handcuff a snake. Harvey Try kicking. time. Harvey Tarrant to take two the kick. Two so far. Let's see if he can make it three out of three. Oh, Slightly oh, wide by Tarrant. Not this time. It's not to be. 25-10 to Blundells. With about five, ten minutes to go. And, uh, well, you would think that this game is pretty safely Blundells is. However, anything could happen. A few big, a few, a few quick points from Taunton now, but it will have to be quick. Good kick. Gathered by Powers, though. Prowse. Kicks it forward. Will chase. Good catch by 14. Dummies. Good contest. Great offload to 11. Really strong offload. Taunton showing heart here. Through the hands to number 13. He did so well earlier. What can he do now? Ah, uh, don't... Uh, Strange kick, and I think he's caught a player there in the follow-through. No? 
not quite as he would have uh, as he would have liked to strike that, and it's gone low and bobbly. But it will be taunted ball. I didn't see it. There's too many bodies in the area. Taunton will take this from, uh, well, I don't know, line out from halfway line by the looks of things. I oh, know, they'll take touch. What was that? Oh, slightly high pass there. Number 11 has gone back. Number 11 will gather. Will Powers body slamming in. No, Seb Linnet, sorry. Number 10 shifts it out. Good tackle. Really strong tackle by Artur. Good dummy. It's getting scrap in there by the looks of things. Going back for the penalty of the high, high tackle. Taunton ball about halfway between the 22 and halfway line. It's just one after another, we're letting them in the game here. Kicks into touch, that'll be from the 22. And uh, you'd think they'd need to score here to still stand a chance in this game. Very possible though. They've looked good, Taunton have looked good actually, Th it, through the hands. But there's been a few, just a few odd decisions, like cutting in just as at the wrong time or perhaps just a, a shaky pass at the end that I think they, they will feel has cost them in this game. Oh, here we go. Down the wing. Driving forward, brought down. Taunton, opting with... Blunder's ball. Blunder's... I can't see that. Blunder's ball. Harris Southgate will go for touch here. What happened there? Holding on? I didn't see Probably. Really. Yeah, be a pretty poor cool angle to see much. Yeah. Probably could have done better there, but hey, it's found touch and that's what matters. Not the maker. Yeah, exactly. Keep it safe. Without a yappy, you know. Keep it safe. Blundells gathers. Ball, pass up, off Ball finds grass. Harris Southgate picks it up, moves forward. It's all about the composure now. Can they get it? A good clearance in. And here we go. Here we go. Falls down eventually. Passes through. Oh, well, well round. Is that Barney Hull? Yeah. That's good good by Blundells. Really Barney good. Carrying momentum out. through. Good clear out. Great clear out. Great tackle by the number two. Good, good, good contest. A muscle tackle. Rocky Prouse shunting it forward. He will find... No, no, number 11 stops it from finding touch. Running it forward now. Ah, spilt. Spilt. And a crowd like that. Blunders will run. Blunders will try and use this opportunity. Johnny O'Brien never won to move quickly, but he's managed it there. Jamie nice. Stewart, oh, nice don't let that man run. Ah, oh. just knocked on at the end. An offload by Jamie Stewart, good idea. Just not quite, um, not quite coming into fruition. <laughs> Flipping egg. What a scary sight to see. I think I felt the ground rumble here. And he is a valuable player to have on the team. 
Here we go, Blundell scrum. Harris Southgate lining up. No, no, Taunton scrum, my bad. Yeah, you knock it on. Don't get the ball if you knock it on. <laughs> Just to clarify, Dom. <laughs> Taunton scrum. There you go. Yeah. Very flat. So Good pressure on there. Try Number 13 out moves it out. They've got a bit of space here in the wings. Seb Lynn at one on one with the 11. Archie Oram, Archie Oram Everett comes around, does really well actually supporting Seb Lynn there. It's good defence by the boys. Here we go. Strong handoff from the number eight once again, causing trouble but brought down. Blundell's doing well to subdue him since that, since that last try. Kicked into touch. Um, kicked into touch at around the halfway line. That'll be a Blundell's line out. And, uh, yeah, you'd think Blunders, just the, the guys that they are, they'll be wanting to get another one here. I don't think they'll want to just end it. Four minutes to go. Yeah, they'll be pushing for another try, you, you would assume. Gathered by... Take from Barney there. Gathered by Barney Oh, Harry Southgate, Jack Clover, steps. Brought down eventually. Good gain of ground. This is strong. Rocky Prowse moving forward. Oh, people falling off him like lizard's tails. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, potentially, potentially holding on. No, no, no. Harry Southgate, nice pass. Lots of creative flair on that, actually. Ooh, this just whistles past him. Just... A sucking in of a stomach from Artur and the taunting guys just caught air. Here we go. What's gone on? Soon find out. Taunting bull, scrub. Knock on, I see. Zoom in a bit there. Yeah, that's good. Number I've got some specials and everything on here. Not the pieces have been taken off though. What's the Oh, spill forward. Blundell's trying to gather. It's gone everywhere. Foot, kick, bounce, whistle. Blundell's Two ball. Left. Two minutes left. Blundell's will probably just want to be, uh, they want to just stamp, stamp a seal of wax on this game with one more try, I think. Put the icing on the kick. Metzen rolls it in, finds the back of the heel of number two. Here we go, Southgate through the hands, Blundells, nice depth to that line. Wobbly ball, Prousey gathers. Good tackle, but brought backwards. What's that? Penalty, yeah, penalty, Blunders ball. Metzen steps inside, Metzen Zigzagging, zigzagging around defenders, well cleared out. Is that Banton? Banton, Harry Han with a bit of authority actually, and a bit of menace. Ah, spilt. That's a knock on. Knock on. I think there's two hands on it, two or two pairs of hands on it, and um, it caused it to just pop out forward before finding its way. Up it goes, trying to find touch, may not find touch. Rocky Prowse in quick pursuit, can't get there. It's a good kick in the end by the Taunton 14. 30 seconds left. You would think this game is Blunders. This final play is starting to one of the next Jamie Stewart finds it off the spill. Jamie Stewart is moving too quick to be comfortable. Oh, here he goes. 
Oh, here he goes. Oh! Oh, just spilt out. I had a great tackle in the end. Oh, my days. Oh, you didn't catch it. I didn't catch it. No, I there, hopefully. I was. Okay, well, okay, there see, concludes the game. It, like, oh my god, and, uh, miss it. <laughs> there concludes the game. 25 nil, 25 10. Sorry, to Blunt. It was a good game of rugby. Not quite as large as a victory as the game at the start of the season. Best of luck to Taunton for the remainder of the season, and uh, Blunders will look to continue this strong run of form, coming off a win off to, uh, against Cheltenham last Saturday. Things are looking promising. Thank you for tuning in, and, uh, and all the best.